I was lollygagging in the store per use and I ran across these shrimp and grits in a bag. Yes, this is the same company from yesterday's video. This was actually a highly requested review after I reviewed their crab boil in a bag. This bag of shrimp and grits is only $10.42. Yeah, just like I like it. I know we shouldn't be trusting seafood from Walmart, but you shouldn't be trusting that man from Tinder either. And look at you, swiping and left at that. Let's see if these are worth the purchase. There are two ways to cook these. One is via the stove top and the other one is via the microwave. Like I said before, this is my second product from this company. And in reference to cooking, both of their products work based off of a wattage system. Basically, the output wattage on your microwave determines the cooking time. If you don't see your exact wattage listed, just go based off of the first wattage that's on the bag and then use a proportion equation. If at 800 watts it takes six minutes, then at your specific wattage, minus 950, how many minutes would it take? Cross multiply 950 times six, that's 5,700, then divide that by 800. So that means we gotta cook this bad boy for seven minutes based on the wattage of my microwave. You can do that or you can just guess, which I know y'all gonna do anyway. Shaking my head. Come here, pay attention in my class. Okay, I think the grits here start to grit a little bit, y'all. Shrimp look unseasoned, but I ain't judging. These actually don't look bad. Look at them. They're a little stiffer than I usually would prefer my grits, but I'm gonna trust the process now because y'all recommended that I try these. I hope y'all taste know how to bud. The ones on the stove is suspicious. They still cooking. Let me make sure I get a shrimp. I will say so far, I really wish that this came with some type of sauce. Wow, <laughs> wow. Now the ones from the stove, they are a little less stiff than the ones from the microwave. There's a cheesy seasoned buttery type of taste to it now. Mm, it's good. I think the shrimp and grits are good and I don't personally think that they need any seasoning added to it. The shrimp by itself could use just a tad bit of help, but it really ain't a damsel in distress. Kinda tastes like tap water. These the grits from the stove. They definitely more loose. These taste better. What's up with that? What's up with these deboni ass niggas trying to see something? Oh yeah, these hidden. Uh huh. It's the stove top for me. I would suggest basically just adding some butter to to the bottom of your pan and then dumping the contents into the pan. Cause you know that's what I did. I be I be having to dock the stuff up. Y'all know I love Seuss. It's good. Not a very good flavor. It's like buttery, crispy, crunchy, loose. I'm gonna give these an eight out of 10 for sure. I think that they are very good and I think that y'all should very much so try them. I think y'all gonna love them. It's an easy, easy breakfast. And if you wanna keep that man and make him some shrimp and grits without having to actually make shrimp and grits, this one is yours. Just make sure you add some butter, sis. Cause if you serve him some grits this stiff, I don't think he gonna get stiff. 